Hello guys, right? Wyatt Nero. And here I have Reveal the Shield Turbo Tracks. AKA Autobot Tracks. <laughs> oh. Like his G1 counterpart, he's a blue sports car. Not much to say about it. It's it's a very nice it's Emerald. Drifting. Anyway. Um, yeah. As you can see, there's the rub sign right there, which, because of my big, big light, it's, uh, it's always on at the moment. But that could also be because of it didn't get below 80 today. Yeah. Anyway. Turbo Tracks. A very nice vehicle mode. And like his G1 counterpart, there's a hidden mode. Which you basically get to by half transforming him. First off, spin this little doohickey around. Put his arms back in. Actually, you're gonna have to take that take those out in a minute. Take these these missiles off. Actually, fold out the doors. And close it back up. And you have the flight mode mode the directions give you. Yeah. Not very good. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you how a lot of people have figured out you could fan mode something that looks more G1-ish. And looks a lot better. First off, start by extending the wings, as you can see that I, I already did. Next, you pull up his arms, which basically you're half transforming forming him at the moment. And tuck his arms into here. Do the same on this side. Yeah. Get in there. And then you close this up, and you have the fan moded flight mode, which I have a little ganked up at the moment. I don't know how. I think so. I don't know, but there it is. Looks a little bit better and a little bit fuller. And you can you can adjust his wheels a little bit, like you can have them underneath, like there, like they're spinning and blowing up air. Oop, but the plastic there up or or just however you like. I don't really like this much personally. It's 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 a little bit of an afterthought. But, so it's nice that they put it in there. Oh, actually, these can plug in on his back. I, I forgot to show you this. Plug in back here. Come on. Be good. Yep. Yeah. Well, I can show you with one. They're plugging back there. Not really doing anything. Um, they're rocket boosters. Let's say that. Let's go with rocket boosters. But let's get on with the robot mode. Got to pull this back and remove that gun, which can be a bit of a hassle sometimes. And you pull it out and you get this. Really cool. Then comes some of the ingenious ways that this thing was designed. I just use those because they go there anyway. Oops. 
Yeah, that's a little tip. Use these to get this out, unless you have good fingernails. I don't have good fingernails, as you guys can see, so I have to cheat a little bit. Undo the legs, separate, and then we'll, we'll come to the back so, so you guys can get a better view. Whoops. These are on a ball joint. Be careful. I'm not being careful. Come on, tracks. Come on. There we go. Okay. Pull the speed out. Like so. So, like that. Don't pull them off like I did last time. Pull them back. And then extend. See? And with tracks, you, you turn them around. And then that looked kind of scary. So basically, for the most part, you have tracks transformed almost all the way. One of the next, one of your next steps is putting these back like that and putting these tabs into two holes right here. My light's a little bright, but I'll be able to see them. Actually, turn these wheels to the front, pull the wings up. It'll, it'll help. And you put these in there. And then you're 90% done. What you do is push up the torso. His arms extend outward. And you get tracks. Now tracks look very accurate to how he did in the original G1 cartoon. One second. I'm going to move my camera just a bit because tracks are a little hard to see sometimes. Oh, actually... Whoa, 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 whoa. There he is. Working with a new tripod. And this is Reveal the Shield Tracks. Looking very accurate to to how it did in Generation 1. With the uh, wings in the back. His, his face is very... Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Not gonna focus. And wow, that whites out a lot, but I need a black background, that's what I need. But Trax, as you can see, has a very nice white face. Oh, white face? Red face. With, and right here, across the top, he has a little night emblem kind of thing. And he does have white piping, which try and show, but, yeah, it just doesn't come out very well, but, looks really good, and he has amazing articulation, he's got the bicep swivel, he's got double elbow, wrist swivel, forward and backward knee, which you, I mean, me, I mean, uh, Hips. And, uh, his knee is kind of messed up a little bit, so that's about what you're going to get out of it. But it's Trax. Trax is an action man. Trax is a man who, who likes how he looks. Trax is a man who wants to look good. But there are no fembots. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this has been my review of Reveal the Shield Turbo Tracks. I, if you can find any of this guy, 
buy him. He's amazing. And they are hard to find. I only found this one. Ever. I've only seen this guy once in retail. And I'm glad I bought him. Because I love him. This has been Twilight Nero. See ya.